Remember that time when you turned on your TV and there was yet another update? And with the last update that was so freaking awesome, I you know I'm going to do an update of this one. Because I enjoyed all of this down here, all that, all that, the picture and picture, everything. The only thing they could do to this, to ruin it, is take away that picture and picture thing, which I use on a daily well I wouldn't say on a daily but I used it quite a few times so let's just please hope they don't take that away this is probably just a firmware update or something since when they up uh, when I turned on a TV and the update didn't show immediately what it did like it did with this one I don't like the fact that I can't do nothing with that thing up there. Three months of Apple TV. I could care less about Apple. I could care less about anything Apple. I don't need no iPhone, no iPad, no iWatch. I don't need any of that. How do I get these off here? I forgot how to do it. The last update was April 1st. And some of my apps need an update too that I don't want to do. Because I feel like they're going to screw something up. We're going to see <clears throat> what this does. Like I said, it's probably just a regular firmware update. Nothing to get excited about. So, yeah, let's curve our enthusiasm. <laughs> I'm hoping they did something good, but I don't really know what they could do anymore. To do, and you may be wondering if you're seeing this why my auto updates are off because when it updates you don't know when it's updated it just tells you that it's been updated but they don't tell you what's been done or you can't see details it just updates and leaves it leaves it alone like I want to know when it updates I want my PS5 is like that too you see right there my two-tone PS5 is like that. <clears throat> My phone is like that. Like everything, I never let anything auto-update. That's why my apps are giving me notifications. So that's one of the reasons why I don't let anything auto-update. They used to give, um, when I let it auto-update before, they used to tell you some stuff they told you, some stuff they didn't. So it's like, ugh, I don't care if they do software updates, but sometimes there was a big major update and they never told you what it did and you can't see the notification. It'll just tell you an update had took place. But what did it do aside from everything else? Will be applied next time you restart your TV. So let's restart TV. <laughs> Restart TV to update function last software. Do you want to restart? Okay, I guess I have to. I can't do it that way. I love this web OS when it comes on like that. Every update does that. Also, when you power on the TV, it shows a little web OS with like that little sparkle on it. A lock or a lock. That's probably just a firmware update, though. I'm 
This is, it may not be a firmware update. Last time it did this little swirly thing this long, this other cool update just took place. So yeah, I'm hoping this does something. WebOS. HDMI 2. It used to say PS5 up there. I didn't tell you to do that. Turn off my PlayStation. I'm going to turn off this TV and see if I still get that WebOS signal. I love these wallpapers that took place. Do 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 do. Now if I hold one, it should go right to YouTube. No, it just goes right there. So I gotta set my things back. <clears throat> Usually when you hold, when I used to hold one, this is my YouTube, this is my Voodoo, and this was, why is this blurry? I don't know why that's blurry. There we go. If you hold one with the TV powered off or on, it doesn't matter. I don't know why this is like this. If you hold one with the TV powered off or on, that's where I would have my YouTube. This was Voodoo. I forgot what three was, but I'm not gonna go there. I wanna see if that web OS comes up. So it just powers straight on. I don't get any web OS right there. So that's what the update did. I don't know. I don't know if I like that. I don't have it on quick power on either. Because that consumes power. It just leaves a standby light on. And even with the TV off, that still consumes power. So this comes on faster now, which got me believing that my TV is somehow left in standby mode. <clears throat> I'm not sure if I like that. Now, I do like how fast that it comes on. Let me try something here. Let's turn this completely off and then wait a few, wait a bit. I was okay with the time amount. It, took, it ain't like it took 30 seconds to 15 minutes to turn on. You know, usually when I turn my TV on, it took like 10 seconds. Maybe that. You know, it wasn't a long wait period at all. I'm not an impatient person. I can wait. With this update, I don't think nothing really big took place other than my TV powering on super quick. But the the update before this one was actually really awesome. And I had to do two parts because this video was only 16 minutes, 24 minutes, but somehow it split my video up. I wish it hadn't have did that. It's this LG Velvet or something. I'm still trying to learn how to sync my videos together. It should have just uploaded in one fluid fluid video. I don't know why it didn't. All right, so now I'll turn it back on. It's been off long enough. It comes right on and it turns my little Atmos receiver on too. I don't know if I like this. It turns on way too quick soon for me. Like I'm not an impatient person. I'm not complaining about it or nitpicking. I just don't know if I like it or not. I'm not sure if I like that idea. PlayStation 5. Oops. These are the results from Station 5. Which one of these? PlayStation 5. Look. You change to PlayStation 5 now. It used to say little PlayStation 5 up here where HDR was. I don't know if I like that either. And I was over here. And it shows you right here. Oh, that's pretty cool. It shows you what it is. BT20. I used to know what that is. 
Why is Adobe Audio and not Atmos HDR 2160? I don't know how, like 4K is 4,000. Like I get why that is, but I don't know. It's when you say 4K and then you show me two, they said because of the pixels and stuff like that. But I don't, I don't know. It, 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 it gets technical, I guess. Uh, where's my PS5 remote at? Where the heck is... Oh, here it is. I don't know if I like this or not. It turns on too fast. I've never been an impatient person. Nothing really took place with this update. I still need to change my batteries a week or two later. I still got my picture in picture options. I'm going to click on this and see what the No, I don't want sports alerts. I didn't even know this was here. Just home hub is good. Um, 